hello hi guys welcome to the channel i hope you are doing great i'm also doing good so in our previous videos we have seen how we can handle the data skew problem data skew problem with multiple approaches right so if your spark version is 3 and above we can use the aq related properties and aq related configurations and we can solve this data skew and data spill issue and if you are using spark 2 or 0 we can use the salting techniques right so this salting technique we can also use it in joins and we can also use in aggregate functions okay aggregate functions but this aqe not available for the aggregated function so in this video we can see how we can use the salting keys to perform the aggregated joins and will improve the performance by eliminating this data skew and data spill issues okay so without further delay let's go ahead and run the code and we'll explain you how it works internally okay so for this i'm creating the spark cluster with executor instance as 2 and executor memory as 512 mb and executor cores as 4 and disabling the dynamic memory allocation okay so let's go ahead and execute this one let's check the spark ui yes you see this is the driver and this is the executor one executed to got added to the cluster let's go ahead and execute the code so let's disable the aq related properties and read the employee data file and uh, this is the same file that i have used in previous videos as well and it has these columns like first name last name job title dob email phone salary department id as well okay so this is a csv file and i'm passing the schema and i'm making it as header true and loading the data so let's go ahead and run this code perfect it has executed now execute the show command and you see it has created and it is displayed the data frame so i am assigning it into employee data frame and now i am performing the aggregation function based on department id and i am trying to get the maximum salary means i am trying to see the maximum salary on each department okay so for this we have written this code let's go ahead and execute this super it has executed now we can trigger a write action so the noob is a dummy action so let's go ahead and execute super it has completed so let's go ahead and open the spark ui and see more details on it yes this is the sql tab of spark ui and you see it has taken two seconds to process the data for the aggregated data and we'll see more we'll explore more details from the job id one you see it has read the file and exchanged the data and exchange and it has been the result and you see uh, this is the first read step and it has read 112 mb of the data and it has shoveled out 4.7 kb and uh, it processed and it has print out the result and let's go ahead and explore the detail and it has created the 200 task yes so this is the stage environment and if you see uh, this one and yeah this is the event timeline and if you see these are all the bigger and larger partition so by seeing this graph we can see this it has a data skew problem means some department has more values compared to other departments okay so these are all the smaller department having less values and these are the bigger department values okay so this is the data problem data skew problem exists in this data sets let's see how, by by the help of salting technique we can remove this data skew issue and we run the job okay let's go ahead and run the remaining code so now before we uh, jump into the salting tactic first we need to understand how many records are available on the each partition so this code can help you to give that data so let's go ahead run this code and if you see it has this particular partition has more records compared to all other records and these are all also has some more data right so now we understand on each department id how many records are available okay so for this this will be the code and let's go ahead and execute this one yes it has executed and if you see department id 2 has more records and department 5 also has more records okay so these are the two departments has more data right and also we have other department as well but those are minimal compared to these two okay so now we can prepare the salting key so for the salting key what we need to do we have to choose the salting number means on the unique number like how many unique number that you wanted to apply for your partition so that the bigger partition will be divided into those many smaller partition 
right so this concept i have already explained in the previous videos you didn't understand that concept please refer the previous videos in this series so that you can understand i can also give you in the description or uh, about section of this video okay so this is the udf that i am creating the 60 different uh, unique keys so let's go ahead and create this okay yes it has executed now i'm setting the spark shuffle partition as also 60 okay so instead 200 it will make it as 60 right so now i'm adding the salting key to the department id underscore salt udf so that whenever every time that it calls it can give you the random number between 0 to 60 okay so let's go ahead and run this now i'm performing the aggregation function group by department id and salted department id so that it will get the unique records okay and then i'm performing the maximum salary okay so that i am aliasing it as max salary okay let's go ahead and run this one so now i'm removing the salted key and i'm grouping the data again on the department id and i'm getting the maximum salary okay i'm trying to get the max of max salary and that will be the max final salary okay so let's go ahead and run this one okay so let me tell you how this logic is going to work on the back end so let's assume that we have a uh, department id okay so department id is something like you know two 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 okay so and we have a salting key something that salt key is something one and uh, it completed all 1 to 60 again it will be performed as 1 and this will be performed as 3 and this will be given as 3 these are the random values okay so when you combine these two department id and uh, salt key these two will be performed as one group and these two will be performed as one group so out of these two it will give you the max salary okay so suppose let assume that we have a salary uh, column something that 50 and 40 okay this is also 10 20 so what it will give it will give 50 for these two rows and 20 for these two rows right so likewise it will repeat all that values means if the partition has more than 60 values for all those it will be repeat the same value right if any value has more than 60 it will be repeat the same values so that it will reduce the groups and it will reduce and it will give you the aggregated results so this result will be send it for the grouping again on the department id like in this join right so in this group by it is going to qualify only this data means the filter data that we are getting means reduced data that it is going to perform so we are grouping based on the department id and the reduced data that's why this group i will perform again and give in give you the expected result okay so let me show you how it actually works on the back end right so let me execute this and let me execute the action too super it has performed now we can explore more details on the spark ui yes now you see it has performed in four seconds so let's go ahead and explore the details you see it has done the two exchanges because first one is on the salted key this is the udf and it is performed the salted key and exchange the data again it will be performed on the department id and can give you the result okay so let's go ahead and we'll save the details and you see it has created the 60 partitions because we kept the shuffle partition as 60 and uh, salting keys unique salting keys also 60 right so if you see this data so first it has read the 20 0.4 mb of the data and it has written 14.6 uh, kb right so again it has read the data like 119 kb and it written only 21 kb and it has written only 21 kb like you see the level that it gone up the data was reduced further a lot right so this is the logic that salting key applies on the aggregated queries so let's go ahead and we'll see more details right you see this one this is the stage page and if you see these are the tasks and it it see this uh, larger task will be cut and will be written as a smaller uh, task but still you see some of the larger partitions still we are seeing in our uh, data set right so if you want to reduce this further we have to increase the 
salting key count like we have taken 60 now so instead 60 you can try with some 80 or uh, you know 90 or 100 so you, uh, then you can still see this uh, larger partition will be splitted into smaller partitions so this is how we have to perform the aggregated query so now we'll change instead uh, 60 we can keep it something like 90 okay so let's go with 90 let execute this code execute this code execute 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 yes now we'll explore more details in the spark ui yes you see it has taken four seconds and you see it has created the 90 partitions yes this is the stage fresh and if you still see uh, it's still further reduced and you it has created smaller partitions right and still we see some of the partitions are like larger partitions but those are okay right so like how if you can increase the unique or salted keys this will be further splitted into multiple smallers and uh, resolve the data skew problem so yeah in this video i hope you understand aggregations based on the salting keys and how to avoid the data spill and data key and the salting keys and uh, how you know how you understand eq we can't handle the aggregate or window functions okay so still even this salting function uh, in the aggregation still we have some uh, disadvantages or some limitations so like it cannot work for uh, you know uh, windowing functions like a uh, rank row number dense rank and all other uh, functions like this will work uh, basically where you can have some data reduction step right so if you have a data reduction steps in the further then uh, this salting technique is going to helpful otherwise uh, it is not going to helpful hope you like the content if you like the content please give a like and uh, if you have any doubt or you want to give a feedback please add it in the comment section and uh, please do subscribe for the data Architect studio more such informative related uh, videos thank you